Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Fuzzy and behind the camera we have another foodie, my boyfriend Ben and we are here today to explore the Borough Market which has so much fresh produce and also fresh food that they're cooking here at the moment. It's actually one of the best markets here in the city and we're going to explore it in a Basi G style and do you know what this means? It means that we'll be always looking for a great offer and I will also tell you all the ins and outs of the market so you don't go into a tourist trap when you're visiting this place. Also you cannot imagine the smell that I'm feeling here at the moment of the fresh cheese toasties and I can already see that people were queuing in here. Hey guys and don't forget to like and subscribe for more food for me and for you guys a puppy! But seriously guys, it would mean the world to me if you like this video and also consider subscribing for more delicious videos like this one. And let me tell you the most important things which you should know about Borough Market. So, first of all, it is very closely located to London Bridge, but the biggest misinformation which I found on Google Maps is that it's open on Sundays as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's kind of open but what they don't tell you is that it's open only for the stands that sell fresh produce or like things which are already ready to eat but to be honest the biggest bummer is that all the food stalls which like actually have cooked food and literally everything that you see about borough market you cannot get it on a sunday so i really suggest you going either during the week or on a saturday which is the busiest day but at the same time Time, you know that you will find everything that you have been looking for and yes I'm saying this from my own experience because of course I had to go the first time on a Sunday and I was all ready to film and eat but unfortunately I couldn't do it It's really good. It definitely needs anything. something, uh -huh. just any feeling, but it's delicious. I think I'm gonna keep this. And this is the other one. Okay. What's oh, the they said it's cooked differently, uh -huh. and I can kind of understand why. Also, when I touch it, it's a bit more kind of fluffy. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yummy. I actually prefer this one more. Okay. My grandma used to make them. What? 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 No. Very simple but delicious. I would say that's a great budget start. Ben says that it's like a typical bread with olive oil. Where does the salmon come from? The salmon all comes from Scotland, from okay. a lock up in Scotland. Traditional hot smoked salmon, and this one's the one with the barbecue glaze on it. Is it, is it rolling? Oh. What is my sample? It's for Ben. Are you confused? And fun fact, this market is more than 1,000 years old. I'm gonna tell the rest of the story later. <laughs> And the real reason why I didn't want to tell you more about it is that I actually forgot from which year was the 
earliest known record and this year is 1276 and uh, despite that it is still considered that the market is over 1000 years old and something also quite interesting is that originally the trade took place closer to the river at the spot next to the original London Bridge before moving down to the high street. So this risotto was definitely super delicious but I have to say the portion was a little bit too big and I want us to try as many things as possible so this is why I'm not taking it. During truffle season in here you can also find real truffles but according to our budget we can only smell it. I mean also the smell is great and free. And the funny thing is that before going to the market, I read that there is this place where you can smell the truffles, but I just have to say that this wasn't the place. Like the first truffles that I saw, I thought that I have to smell them, even though they were literally next to eggs, which might have ended up very bad. Ready to uh, get the world famous sausage roll. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? I like it. Face test time! It's piping hot. So, like, the pastry looks very fragrant. like sausage rolls anywhere in the world love it good spices as well quick rate out of 10 10 10 10 oh wow oh. Mm. and something which almost like gives me bumps is thinking that also Shakespeare was doing his groceries in here the legend says that he used to buy veggies fruit and also mackerel from borough market so this is definitely a market which has a lot of history not only delicious food and Ben is still enjoying this sausage roll. And do you guys know that in medieval times, citizens of London were banned from going to the borough market? Can you guess why? Basically, back in the days, Sadork wasn't actually part of London and uh, the traders at the borough market offered such low prices that citizens were banned from crossing the bridge and going in there.
Another great place to try at the market it is this one. It's called May May and it's inspired by the coffee shops in Singapore, which are called Kopi Tiam. I really hope I'm saying this correctly, but they have a Malaysian breakfast staple called Nasi Lamak, which is basically fragrant coconut rice dish. And after that, I saw that at the market, they have literally my favorite dessert in the whole world. It's called Kunafa, I believe, and it is traditionally from Middle East and uh, it's made with uh, Kadif and after that it has this sugary based syrup and layer of cheese. It's so delicious. Excited. Very, very excited. Are you guys ready to see my favorite dessert and also I would say one of the most delicious things ever? Oh, just look at that. It's warm, so it's quite hard to keep it with my hands. But let me... This is how it looks. On top it had pistachio nuts and also rolls, which was something new also for me. Mama, may I oh, it's great! Yeah, because the, cause the thing is, wow. there is tons of cheese inside. Look at that! Wow, look at it all melting! Mmm! This is rose! It's so delicious! Uh oh, uh oh! Yeah, I really like it with spaghetti. <laughs> How to eat like an Italian? Raw anything, even if it's not pasta. Okay. Very, very interesting. It is this perfect combination of sweet and savory. And you can also kind of feel the rose and the nuts. So it's... As you said, you get a lot of the smell of the rose. Totally devoured. Can I... And every time that I leave Ben for two seconds, he goes and check out, guess what, the meat. Hi Ben. Hi. What are you looking at? I just saw some deer heart. And these were the truffles that I originally had to smell, not the ones next to the eggs, but anyways. And how do you know that a place is good? Oh, uh, there's a huge fucking queue. I'm gonna queue up. Are you ready to eat more? I mean, we come out. Yes! Totally. We always are, right? Yes, yes. And look at Ben's happy face just because he got a free sample of risotto. Not that he was starving all day. It's a shame because I. Ben, what is the issue here? My girlfriend wants me to get the duck comfy for a video, but like, I don't like it. We don't get it, but you guys, if you like the coffee, I would say definitely come to this place.
and we decided to go for the oysters yes i know it was like kind of in the end and maybe we should have started with that but yeah anyways let's just pretend that it's fine hello oh, hi what do we have so, so we have a west mercy rock we, we don't know which uh, one though horses are navy the cherry stone and this is the cherry stone Oh my god, something that I was about to forget, it is the most typical one, one of the oldest places in this market, yeah. it is Maria Market Cafe, unfortunately we are already too full, but if you are looking for a solid English breakfast, this is the place for you to go, let me take it. By the way, we're here at like 1 p.m. But do you know what time wholesalers come in here during weekdays? Just give it a guess. Well, the answer is 2 a.m. Can you believe that? From one side, my body is telling me that I had enough food and definitely enough cheese. But from the other, the queue is telling me that I should definitely give it a go. Are we queuing? Yes, we are. Yes, we're totally getting more food, even though I'm quite full already. But we have to do it for you guys, so you know if this place is worth it. The little eater of Rickley of our market. I'm the big eater. Uh, Look at that. Basically, they cut it in half for us. Wow. Look at that. Uh oh. This is how it looks. Here we have the other half. Are we and ready? This is what like my girlfriend drop. So much cheese today. <laughs> quite strong. Mm. I like it, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite thing here Just in the market. Eat. It's a good toasty, but like nothing else, you know, there isn't any fun or unexpected flavor. And you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, I will see you in my next one. Love you all. Bye.